Good afternoon, Hello. Dr. Nixon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank now, you. just introduce yourself and tell us about your research interests and from that, what you're passionate about. Sure, thank you. Uh, Angelique Nixon, and I do Caribbean and post-colonial studies and gender and sexuality studies and African diaspora literature and culture, basically cultural studies. I'm really passionate about gender and sexuality studies and passionate about the study of literature and culture that I think help us to understand who we are. I think that representation is incredibly important, important for Caribbean people, for people of African descent, for marginalized communities, for us to be able to express ourselves, our voices, share our stories. I think stories are incredibly important, visual stories as well as the stories that we tell through novels and books and poetry and, uh, and essays and speeches and oral history. So I study all of that in the Caribbean context, in the post-colonial context, and I use a very, very much a feminist and post-colonial lens. Mm -hmm. And I think ultimately I'm most passionate about thinking about how we can fight for the struggle for freedom and liberation for marginalized people, mm -hmm. uh, for us all to be human and free. That's been really a major part of my work. Um, I'm also an activist, community worker, and a writer, and a creative writer. So I think of all of these parts of myself is feeding into the scholarly work. But I'm most passionate about my own creative work as an artist and a writer, and also my community work. Excellent. And a follow-up question, or final, of course. This dynamism, multiplicity, and broad scope, would, what would you say would be a major or major discoveries from your work so far? For yourself, self-discovery. For, mm -hmm. uh, for myself, I think it's been about making sense of the, of the feelings that I've had in my work around what I've read and making a, very much, I feel like, an ancestral and also an ancestral connection and also this deep a reflection about memory that I feel like many Caribbean writers talk about, especially black women writers talk a lot about that we hold memory uh, in our bodies and in our blood. And that for me, I've felt it as I've studied the work and also felt it in my own writing and being in different places and okay. doing the work I do. So yeah. Thank you, Dr. Thank Nixon. You. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy your day.